Leon likes to control his situation, like a lot of us do. He gets control of the tongs, so there's no funny stuff. And then he gets the food out of the tongs, while always keeping his eyes on the tongs. Always. Leon has a lot going on where he eats, a lot of moving parts. Here's a slow motion look. This is slowed down about five times from normal. Spring has sprung here. I've moved all the plants back outside so Leon's not living in the jungle anymore. The koi are happy and hungry with the warm weather, and so are the Venus flytraps and the anoles. While the heat's rising outside, Leon is staying nice and cool inside. Kamikoto Knives has offered to come on again as a sponsor for this episode about food and Leon eating. It's appropriate. Kamikoto Knives sponsored the earlier Leon video called Leon Goes to a New Home, which helped pay for a new larger aquarium for Leon. I've been using these knives regularly since then. That's been several months now, and this particular knife I use every single day. It gets used every day, washed every day, and it's as sharp as it was the very first day I got it. Here are some samples of the foods I feed Leon. Again, Leon and I eat a lot of the same thing, so we share dinner a lot. This is swordfish steak, scallops, salmon. I leave the skin on for him, shrimp with the shell on. The pink shrimp looks cooked, but it's actually raw Argentine shrimp. I only feed Leon fresh raw food, and obviously with no spices added. Vegetables, I try to buy them organic, like kale, broccoli, and green peas, of course. Kamikoto knives are meticulously crafted from techniques dating back to the Edo period of Japan and crafted from high quality Japanese steel. Kamikoto knives come in a beautiful ashwood box so they can be stored away safely and given as a gift, a gesture, or a performance award that will definitely impress. Kamikoto is offering Leon's viewers $50 US off any purchase they make with the discount code LEON. Just go to kamikoto.com forward slash Leon or click on the link in the video description. These knives are a great Father's Day gift too. So here's my dinner, and here's Leon's dinner. I'm envious of Leon's multitasking skills. Here he's grooming himself and eating at the same time. It would be like me eating a pizza in the shower. <laughs> I want that in my life. Leon loves clams and mussels, just like I do. Obviously, I've tried to feed him oysters too, but oysters are expensive and they are hard to get into. I broke the end open on this one with a hammer, and Leon still just has a problem with it. It's hard for him to lift, so it's hard for him to pull it up to his mouth and get the meat out. In the wild, Leon would use his crusher claw to easily bust open food like green sea urchins, crab armor, and other crustaceans. Here, 
Leon is working on cracking open a mussel shell. He can manage these pretty easily. He positions it in his crusher claw, so you can see the challenge he has. It's like trying to crack a Brazil nut in a nutcracker. It's oval shaped like a football and keeps slipping out of his crushing claw. I've sat down during the holidays and watched my brothers or relatives try to crack nuts with a nutcracker and truly Leon is doing as good or better a job than them. With my relatives most of the nuts end up flying across the room and the family dog gets them, like some scene out of Christmas Vacation. Check out his dexterity here. He's positioning the shell with his lower legs and also maneuvering it with his two huge claws. He tries to crack it, then checks the shell to see if he's opened it yet. Then he positions it back in his claw for another crush. He holds it in place with his pincher claw, and his powerful crusher claw is doing all the hard squeezing. Think about this too. Surely he has to have a lot of nerve endings in his claws, like we have nerves in our teeth. So he doesn't apply so much pressure that he breaks or cracks his claw before he breaks open the muscle shell. He checks it again, sees it's not cracked open yet, and puts it back in his crusher claw for another squeeze. This time, he's busted into it. Then puts it back in his claw for another big crush. Pop! Now he can get the good meat out of it. And he starts ripping the cracked pieces off with his mouth. He decides to crush another piece of the shell off. And then another one. So he's able to clean the inside out. Now the shell is just totally smashed into pieces, and Leon is munching down. The shell pieces lay around, scattered. I'll clean them up later. Notice he didn't eat the pea I dropped in for him. I dropped three in for him, actually, so he ate two. He really prefers meat. I put vegetables in for him to be sure he's getting all the nutrients he needs, like broccoli stalks. I weigh them down to the bottom so he can take what he wants. The same with kale and other leafy greens. Leon generally comes over and takes a few bites, then goes looking for the good stuff, meat. Leon absolutely loves clams and mussels though, and they are full of single cell algae and plankton, so they provide him with a lot of the nutrients that vegetables provide. Abby and Leon obviously know each other. Abby is totally fascinated with Leon. 
And Leon says, oh, there's that cat again. He's not threatened by her at all. Actually, the size comparison here is pretty deceptive. He is about as big as she is. Ironically, Bobby doesn't even like cats. She's not a cat person, um, not a cat cat. She doesn't understand why I have cats. She thinks it should be just Bobby and I, and maybe Leon and the Koi. Leon spends a lot of his time grazing the substrate and searching for food, bits of leftovers. I'm glad to see he does this. It shows he is comfy and content in his aquarium, and he uses all of the space. I put locks on the top for safety, but he doesn't spend any time at all trying to get out. He truly seems content in his safe space, <laughs> um, with some dude cleaning up after him and bringing food to him. I'm fine with that too, actually. I read a lot of the comments viewers post, and as always, some comments are amazing, heartwarming, and you viewers sharing some of your pets and your lives with us all here. It's just interesting to read. And some comments are pretty freaky, out there, and some are just funny, and in a science or biology nerd way. A few viewers have actually asked, how does Leon poop? That's kind of Leon's private stuff. He's actually done it several times in earlier videos. He's just pretty discreet about it, like a gentleman. Here it is though. He always whisks it away and never in his cave. He always comes out to do it. Even after having Leon here this many days, I'm still learning so much about his behavior. Here I offer him a clam, one of his very favorite foods. And he refuses it and goes back into his cave. And then shortly later comes back out and takes the clam straight over to the dishwasher and dumps it without eating it. Once again reminding me of the cats when they scratch the floor and try to cover up their food when they don't like it. The next morning though, the shell is empty. So I'm guessing Leon was just full and moved the food over to the corner to save it for later. This is another benefit to not having the killifish in the tank. Leon's food was still there later when he wanted to eat it. I always enjoy hearing other theories though. I'll have a new update soon. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And feel free to share it with friends you think might like meeting Leon and following his journey. We'll see you soon.